All right, I just wanted to showcase both vehicles that I have set up for this Chaos Vehicle Blueprint setup, one of which uses just the standard either skeletal mesh or static mesh as a child of the main skeletal mesh, which is the vehicle. And then, of course, you have it hidden in game and also hidden like that. So when you start things off, There's all the basic stuff, has the sound effects, moves around. I have a few other features that make it lean left and right to kind of mimic that it's a bike rather than just sitting upright. Stops, I also have to reset the animation blueprint for this because the wheels aren't moving, but they do function properly um, when it's all set up right. I just made so many changes that that's the last step I missed. And uh, we'll take a look at the user vehicle. Which, as you can see, it's literally just it's a skeletal mesh and one collision box. You know, the other basic vehicle stuff as well. When we jump in. No sound, of course, and the movement's slower, but we do have all the physics-based movement. And if we take a look at everything here, we can actually see that it's moving around as it should. Um, there are a few things I'd like to tweak, like the speed. It's a bit slow. Um, this is the fastest I've been able to get it without making it spin out, so that is a big accomplishment in my book. Um, we will attempt one of these ramps to see what happens. I also would like to add a reset when the vehicle turns over, which I'm sure is going to have something to do with uh, line trace tool or something that checks to see if the character is upright. I'll have to look into the, the uh, tutorials for that. And um, yeah, this is what I have so far. I'm impressed with either one of the results I can work with. I would prefer this one because this is a traditional vehicle setup rather than uh, just mimicking the Chaos Vehicle example blueprint. Now, there are some benefits to doing it this way um, as far as uh, ease of use, but if you're looking for a more complex setup, then I think this is the way to go. So um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.